Hello, good people of the internet, welcome to a DCUO video. In this one, I'm doing my long awaited and have by me <laughs> um, update to Marks of Triumph guide. Um, this is going to feature everything from DLC 1 right through to 7. So, yeah, uh, there, there's quite a bit to cover. There is going to be another video doing daily stuff because in. I think it's update 27 that's going to change a bit I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to affect all of the daily stuff but yeah I'm hoping that it does anyway um, I'm, I'm taking up time and I've got very limited time to get through this so what this is going to cover is everything from DLC 1 excuse me that was DLC 1 right through to DLC 7 uh, so everything that used to be marks of Triumph, Distinction, Krypton, War is now Triumph and then you've got the marks of reality content at the back end of it so yeah um, there we go that did used to be 5 and now past 4 and 9 ok right on we go on the on duty menu you'll find thanks to Scrimmage, which goes after Legends PvP, but is a hidden menu, that the events, a menu not used for 90% of the year, is before the one that's used every single day. Did the sarcasm come through the clapping? Um, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> anyway, right. So... Um, I'm still on yesterday's clock. The vault. Uh, same as usual. Uh, slightly updated. You don't get the bombs in there anymore, which is kind of cool. Pays anything from 1 to 25 from uh, a Triumph box. And you've got a chance of getting uh, a reality mark from it. But very, very slim. Very slim. Right. Challenge tier 1s. Uh, these, basically everything that I'm going to cover in this video is exactly what I've covered before, but updated. So, the stuff that I'm going to cover is going to be really quick. <laughs> okay, um, the tier 1 challenges pay one mark of triumph each, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 per day. So it's 35 marks that you'll get for doing these every single day across a week. And you get, on reset day, two marks of triumph so you're going to get two four six eight ten so across a week if you did these every single day you're going to get 45 marks of triumph it's not bad uh the tier twos they pay five marks per week uh, per day so you get five ten fifteen twenty two four six eight ten twelve fourteen 140 marks of triumph every single day and on reset, they pay 10 marks of trial feet, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, so 140, 180 that you'll get per week. Challenge tier 3s, these pay 25, this is where it starts getting fun. Uh, so it's 25, 50, 75, 100 per day. That's 7 days, 700 marks of trial that you get per week. And on reset day, you get 50. Um, from the box, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 200. So you're going to get 100, 700, 900 marks per week just doing the tier 3 challenges. Cool, eh? Challenge mode tier 4. I love these! Um, these, uh, well, as you can see, uh, they actually drop quite a bit of loot. There's, I think, three bosses through each uh, that drop gear, and it's green. I think from 81 to 83 is the standard combat rating or item level drops that you'll get from there. So you can get a full green set, and including weapon, from there. And the weapons are all unattuned, but uh, I don't know anyone that's seen a bow yet. Yeah. Anyway, you get one mark of reality from each. One mark of reality from each. Right, so that's two that you get per day. 
So it's uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 marks of reality that you would get per week. And there is no reset box, unfortunately. But yeah, there's those. Um, then you got the duos. Uh, tier 1 duos apparently pay one mark of triumph each, and the weekly box is, I'm going to assume, two. So, one, two, three, four, five, uh, so it's five, 35, and two, four, six, eight, ten, uh, 45, 55 marks of triumph that you get per week from doing the duos. Kind of cool. Uh, the tier 2 duos pay 10 marks each and also 10 on the reset. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 40, 4, 8, uh, 12, 280 that you get per week plus an extra 40, 280, 320 marks of triumph that you get per week for doing the tier 2 duos. Uh, these are DLC. 1 and 3 dependent, so you might not be able to do those. You might, but you might not. And then you get the tier 3 duos. <laughs> Again, this is where things start paying a bit more. I'm still unsure as about old Gotham Subway. The last time I did it, it paid more, but like I said, um, I, I do need to go through these quite a bit to get some more skill points because that's where I'm missing. But the duos pay uh, 50. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 200 per day, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 1,400 marks per week. That's just from doing them. Uh, and an extra 50 marks from the box, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20, an extra 200. So it's 1,600 marks that you get per week just for doing the tier, two, uh, tier 3 duos. But they are kind of tricky if you've not done them before. But easy to breeze through. And that's general. They don't pay anything at all. So uh, you'll get gear, uh, but you won't get the specific style drops that are supposed to drop in that alert. You'll get random green crap. So it's not worth doing. Uh, the only one that is, is Bloodhaven, and that's for the uh, contemporary tech feet that drop in there. Uh, but they only drop in healer form, so... But if you're going through all the tier 3s, it's worth doing. Right, and that's tier 1. Uh, these pay 2 marks each and 5 on the reset, so it's 2, 4, 6, 8... Let's see, this is where my mental mask got me. Eight times uh, 56. Uh, 56 per week. And 20, 60, 76 that you'll get per week just doing the tier 1 duos. Uh, sorry, alerts. Kind of worth it. Uh, tier 2s are worth 20 marks of triumph each and 25 on the reset too, so it's 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so it's 100 per day, and 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so you get 100, 100 per day, 125 on the reset, so it's 700, 825 per week for doing the tier 2 alerts. Again, worth it. Uh, tier threes. These are where the marks really do start racking up. Um, the tier threes pay 100 each, and there are five of them. That's 500 marks. It's five, ten, fifty, three thousand five hundred marks that you get per week, and on reset day you'll get an extra 625. So it's 4,125 marks of triumph that you get for doing the tier three, uh, tier 3 alerts every single day. And that's almost enough for a tier 4 piece. Uh, alerts tier 4 pay 500 marks for doing it, and it is a do it if you want to do it alert. It's 
really, really long. It's made Batcave 2 defunct. There's no reason to do Batcave 2 anymore with this thing around. But it's a do it if you feel like doing it alert. <laughs> Old tier 4 ops. Um, this is 500 marks. Uh, this is 500 every day. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 3,500 marks for doing that every uh, every day. And an extra 125 marks from the box. Uh, 3,500, 3,625 that you'll get just for doing the tier 4 ops every day. And then you get the tier 5 ops, which are very, very cool, but very, very long. Um, these give you 5 marks of reality for doing each one of them. Um, as you can tell, I've not done them uh, yes yesterday, or the day before. Or the day before. <laughs> right, raids. Um, novice tier 2, not worth doing. Novice tier 3, again not worth doing. You'll get one mark of uh, uh, what used to be one mark of trip, Krypton or Distinction at the back end of it. It's really not worth doing. Um, and if you do go happen to go through the novice tiers before you queue up for the experts you're actually loot locked all throughout the experts. So if you need to go through, use the novices to get feats. Do not use the, uh, don't, don't use them for gear. They're not worth it. Expert tier 2. It's debatable whether or not this actually is worth it too. Um, you'll get um, about 65 to 50 marks of triumph per week, uh, uh, per raid. So you'll get 200 per week for doing this. 2, 4, 6, 800 uh, per month. And on the reset you get uh, 200. It's two, four, six, eight. You get a thousand marks per month for doing uh, ex everything that's tier two. Yeah, not worth it. Tier three, you get for Foss one the the chasm, uh, four hundred, two, four hundred, three, one hundred and fifty across the week. Nine hundred and fifty marks uh, e equals nine fifty times four, three thousand eight hundred marks per. Um, per month and on the monthly reset you get 1500, 3800 there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, 4300 5300 marks if my mental maths are correct yes, 5300 marks per month for doing FOSS, uh, FOSS every day or every week so it's kind of worth getting those done. Then you get Rage uh, Tier 4, which used to be Marks of War content. Um, Gates pays 1,250 marks per week, um, which turns out to be, let's see, times 4, 5,000 marks per month, plus an extra 7,500 marks per month just doing gates every week. Uh, primes 500, 5, 10, 15, 20, 2000 and then you get the reset box which is 2500 so that's 4500 for, uh, for those that they're definitely worth it. Right, Paradox Wave pays 4 marks of reality uh, Nexus of Reality also pays 10 marks of reality it's basically like gates and prime used to be but worth doing uh, unpaid dues, 750 marks per week, and 2,500 from the reset box. T a total of the equals 750 times 4, 3,000 marks uh, per month, and 5,500 uh, that you'll get per month from doing the tier 4 ops that used to be. Alright, that's pretty much everything done, and I'll catch you on the next video. See you in a bit.